Okay, KPS crew, uh, if you've just checked out the video on Chance, or the instructional video, the video that's on the video, the video that's about videoing, um, then that's you'll know where that was going. Oh, I think it went for about eight minutes, and it was just, just like, don't talk too long, let's get them into it. And off they went to play Nini Nini. This one, I'm going to just have a, a bit of a uh, yak to the kids about uh, fractions. Um, focus on a half, but some of them are ready to go further and then they've got some tasks to do um, at home. So and I'll take them through some of that and you can get the, the, the idea. So um, we'll stop it now for talking to you and then you'll cut into how I might be instructing the kids at home, grade ones, grade twos. All right, okay boys and girls, today having a look at fractions, there it is now, keywords. Uh, I don't know when you want to say the word fraction, what you think of kids, not too sure. I'd love to know, so perhaps it'd be great if at home you can start thinking, writing down, drawing, uh, telling your brother, your sister, your mum, your dad about what you know about a fraction and maybe this word will come up half. So a fraction, uh, yeah, some of you might even know that a half looks like that. You think about where you've seen half, we have heard about half, what you know about half. And I bet you there's a lot of things that you know. So that's a fraction of the word half in here. And I'll do the same thing, because that's how we show a half. I just think it means one thing shared, which is this symbol, shared between two people. It's a true story, boys and girls. I've got two older brothers. One of them, he's the next older one than me and he's about five years older than me. His name is John, and my mum used to give John and myself a chocolate bar. It was a cherry ripe. And she used to give us a chocolate bar to share. And she'd give it to John, because he was the older, he was the older son, he was my big brother. And this is how John would share the chocolate bar. She, my mum wished that she was dark. She'd go, hey, Johnny, make sure you share your chocolate bar with Robbie. That's me. And this is how John would share it. Yeah, about there. Yeah. And this part was for John and me, Rob. This was my bit. So, kids, I don't know about you. I don't think that's half. I think he was ripping me off. I don't think he was being fair. And that's what it's all about. It's all about being equal. Yeah, equal parts. That's not an equal part. John O's got way more cherry ripe than I did. Maybe he was just taking advantage of the fact he was older. But boy, he was really bad at fractions. Or cutting up, because that's not half. And now my mum caught him, probably, probably dobbed him in. And now we have a rule in our family, whoever breaks first, the other person gets to choose. So next time John does that, I'll just say, well, I'm having that bit, because that bit is way bigger. It's not half. And maybe you've got something at home, you can draw a line, or you've got a, um, a, a table, you've got something at home where you can show half. But I reckon if I got you to come out, if you were at home and you came out to this board, you'd go, oh, I think that's more like it, Mr. V. I I think that's about half. And I'd go, you know what? I reckon that is. I reckon that's half and that's half. So we've got two bits and it makes up the whole thing. For a start, we had one bit and we shared it into two parts. Yep, and that, that's why it looks like that. It's a half. One bit shared into two parts. Anyway, kids... When you've had a go at writing down what you know about a half, why don't you just try doing some things at home? Go and find a half of stuff. Get some containers, fill them halfway up. That'll be hard because you can't see it, but like a glass. Um, oh, that could be half because this bit's a lot fatter than the skinny bit down here. But anyway, try filling your container up uh, to half. Um, maybe uh, get some Lego pieces or whatever you've got and make a half from it. Well, yeah, that's like a half green. That's a half black. I can put another. I can put another black one on there, and another green one. Yeah, that's half green, half black. So maybe you could do that with your Lego pieces. 
Um, maybe you could just not worry about the colour and how many they are. Just go, yeah. Okay, I just broke it in half. And it's fair. If that was a cherry ripe, that would be equal. Get a piece of string. Just get some string or something like that that you've got at home and go around finding half of stuff. Yeah. Or maybe go along, ooh, look at this. Half. Yeah. Or maybe here, half. Ooh. Oh, wait, there's more. Hey, look, Mum and Dad, I found a half going this way. They're equal. That side's the same as that one. So just go around finding stuff at home. Use your string, put it across stuff. What else can we do? We can put it away and go up. This is halfway around the container. So find lots of stuff. Maybe just grab a piece of paper and go, all right, I'm going to draw on this, or I'm going to use the scissors if you're allowed to at home, and I'm going to cut this in half. Oh, and now I've done that, or I can fold it in half. Okay, so I've got half, half. And then maybe you can do that again and then get into quarters, which is really cool. That's when you've got one thing and you share it into four equal parts. Quarters. Like there's four quarters of football in a game. Okay, boys and girls, what else can you do at home? You could uh, yeah, yeah, get some objects, fill them half full, uh, find half of things, use your string, use your paper, and find as many things as you can about half around your house. You might see a window that's half open. I might be able to, whoa, go over here to the blind. And go, okay, I'm gonna pull this halfway down. No, it has to come up a bit. So it's gotta be equal. Okay, that looks about right. So things like that. Do as many things about half as you can. I wanna see you guys come up with about 10 things that you can do at home that show about a half. It can be a half of one thing, or it can be a half of a lot of things, like we did before. There's eight things. Now I've got four on that side, four on that side, so a half of eight is four. Oh, yeah, cool. All right, enjoy yourself. Spend a half an hour on it.